What's up YouTube? So I wanted to get a quick video here on a starter replacement. You know, I saw a lot of videos on YouTube that said it was horrible, it's really bad, oh my God, I'll never do it again. So I, I didn't want to do it. I was reluctant. I was like, no fucking way am I gonna tackle this job. All these people say it's horrible. There's no way I'm gonna do it. Well, you know, I'm always up here in these hills. A lot of times by myself in the mountains and my solenoid has been giving me problems. So I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna replace it. I'm just gonna do it. So I wanted to make this quick video to let you know that it really wasn't that bad. So stay tuned. I apologize for the choppiness of the video. It was kind of last minute, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. It's really not that bad. Um, yeah, there you go. So I got the starter out. It was a pain in the ass, but it wouldn't be as hard if you knew which tools to use. See, I had everything in the world out. So the best one for this top bolt was definitely this. Right up in here. I used this. And I use this as a breaker bar. There wasn't a lot of room to get a lot of torque. For the bottom bolt, I came under here with a long extension like that. And to get it out, I actually just rolled it up out of here. I saw some YouTube videos where they say it wouldn't come out of there or it was hard, but it actually did come right out. So I'm gonna put the new starter in and I'll let you know how that goes. Here's the new one, it's actually rebuilt, but uh, we'll get it in there and hopefully this works. So you wanna make sure this plastic is out, even when you take it out. Let's see if we can get this thing. I got it pointed that way. You can see. Sorry. Okay. See, it's that easy. Comes out the same way. Also, I want to let you know that the nut that holds this on is a 13 the wire and then the other two are five eighths that hold the actual starter because i don't have a lot of you know you can't get your fucking hands in there i'm just using this extension to kind of line it up to get that first bolt in there See, it's not the easiest bolt to get on so I'm coming from way back here I don't know if you can see that nope. see I'm coming from way back here to get up in there. And this one up here, you can only do like one click at a time. All right, everything's in there. Let's see if this worked. To recap this, it's best to go to this bottom 5 8 bolt down here with a long extension like this with the swivel head. Then the top one right here, you know, something like this. 
and you might need something like this to get it like that. This needs to be out, and this one will roll up out of here. You do have to pull this open like that, but it is doable. I could do this next one. If I had to do it again, I could do it a lot faster. 10 millimeter on the little wire bolt nut, five eighths on the other two. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs>